Hello and welcome to Blender Quick Tips. Today I will be teaching you how to make quick fire, quick fluids, quick fur, and quick explode. First up, fire. I'm going to use a UV spear with shading of smooth. Now all you need to do is press your space bar and type quick smoke. Now you want to change the smoke style to fire. Then just press play and you can see it simulate in front of your face. <laughs> and of course you are going to want to bake this before you render. And if we just render this really quick, you can see that we have quick fire. Easy as that. Alright, well, next up next up fluid hello and welcome again this time it's fluid again I will be using a UV spear I just like UV spears if you haven't figured it out <laughs> there we go and let's just make this a little bit more interesting and we can go ahead and say add a mesh plane and obviously since this is a fluid simulation you will have to bake it before you can watch it but don't worry you won't have to watch me bake it that would be lame I'll bake it and you can I'll pause alright let's get going just click on the spear and click space and type quick fluid and as you can see you have um, the fluid style, basic, or inflow. Let's do inflow. And when you play this, you can see that it just drops slowly right through our um, board here. So let's just go ahead and add this as an object. All you need to do, go to this, have fluid, turn this to obstacle, and do not, okay, and press collision. There we go. And now replay this. And of course, you will need to bake it, I believe. Well, that's always what I've had to do. So I'll pause while I bake. Okay, well, um, I did do a, I had a little problem, as you can see. Now we have a another UV spear. I figured out that when you're using a plane, there's actually another step you need to do before you can add it to just obstacle and I didn't want to do that step so I just added a UV spear and I will explain that step in future uh, when you're doing this method if you're doing normal method it's fine just with this method it's different um, but anyway here's what I came up came up with oh I'm in wireframe my bad. I will switch it out of wireframe. There we go. And let's go ahead and just set this to smooth. There you go. And that's what I came up with. And this was actually baked at. Where's the fluid? Um, this was baked at 65 and 45. There you go. All right. Um, yeah. Next up, we have Quick Explode. I'm going to add a very. I'm gonna add a monkey. Yeah, let's just scale this puppy up. Scale him up. What on earth is it with this monkey? There we go. To scale in a special way. All right. There we go. Go ahead and zoom out. He looks good. Let's turn smooth shading on. Ooh, I don't like that. Eh, smooth shading will look cool. And just type quick. Quick explode there you go and amount of pieces duration set that for 50 and I'm just gonna put this up to blah, blah, blah. I don't know that should be fine just turned up to the max amount and here we go well it's not really an explode it is like breaking and falling using gravity so and I'm so yeah, that could be used, and there's another option, 
just blend it just as you can see here if you like look up it blends them together so when it so that it looks really bad like that Ugh. yeah so I don't recommend using that okay let's well that's it for this one next up quick fur all right quick fur time let's go ahead and add mesh monkey or Susan so I've been told and set her to set her to smooth and go to quick um, fur there you go there's a nice quick fur for you fur pretty cool fur and you have view 10% length 0 0.10 medium density light density high density set this to heavy as you can see there's a lot more fur it's like Santa Claus and there you go well hope you guys like it tune in for the next tutorial peace out